Hey, we are working now. Okay? So again, let's take a look at what you had trouble with. All right, now, um, I just want to kind of scroll back a little bit, and you can kind of tell me what the answers are, or you can tell me what you got, and then if you tell me uh, you need some help, we'll go ahead and fix that. I think we set a lot of them up, correct? Yeah. All right, so let's start with... Um, 20, uh, did we, didn't we figure out 23? Yeah, All right, let's take a look at 24. Can anybody tell me what the answer was for 24? Mm -hmm. Tell me. 16.5 kilometers per hour. And then 5.5 kilometers per hour. Does anybody need any, or anybody have any problems with that? Well, the current can't be negative. I, I, I don't think. know. I just, I'm All right. Eleven and eleven. For uh, the rate, I got uh, thirty-three over two. Yep. I got. Guess what thirty-three over 30. two is? Uh, sixteen point five. You're brilliant. And then what about? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it real quick. Gotcha. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I was gonna ask you. To do it. Yeah, here we go. Let's talk about this now. So it says a rowboat can travel a distance of sixty-six kilometers in three hours with the current. So I agree he's going with the current. So that means the rate of the boat plus the rate of the current times what? Three. Times three is equal to what? 66. So I agree with that. And then it said the rowboat can travel 33 kilometers in three hours against the current. So here we would say B minus C times what is equal to 33 guys I'm not sure what the problem is on that anybody have any issues with that all right now does everybody agree it would be better if I just did what B plus C equals 22 and B minus C equals what 11 2 B equals 33 B equals 16.5 kilometers per hour is what the boat is going. And then you plug B in, right, 16.5. So then the current would be what? 5.5 kilometers per hour. Thank you very much. I think that's pretty reasonable. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you could just leave it as 33 over 2. All right, but 33, when you're talking about kilometers per hour, it makes more sense as a decimal, do you agree? Of course, I don't care if you leave it as 11 over 2 and uh, 33 over 2. All right, is everybody happy with that explanation? All right, let's move down. We did 25, correct? We did 26, correct? Uh, somebody tell me the answer for 27. What? I got $2.27. <coughs> Um, okay, um, what is the apple juice? Uh, 70 cents. 70 cents? Mm -hmm. And then the uh, salad? dollar fifty. $1.50. And so it says, what would be the bill for a glass of juice and a salad? We would say what? $2.20. Is everybody okay with $2.20? Five dollars and three cents. Well, that doesn't listen. I I don't think that'll make much sense, and let me try to explain why. You see what I'm saying? If one of each is two twenty, then I'm asking about five and four. I got to the apple. Well, that just means you made a mistake somewhere. Oh, I didn't. I forgot to divide. Yes, ma'am. Well, do you have this set up, right? Uh, yeah, I got that. Um, okay, so now what are we doing? What did you multiply by? Um, I think I no, no, listen, I, I'm not caring what you're multiplying or if you did it wrong. I'm asking how you would do it, right? So there's the equation. What would I multiply the top equation by? Shh, shh. By four. And then I'd multiply the bottom equation by what? Yes. Exactly. 
All right, so if I multiply that, you just met, must have made a mistake when you did the multiplication. So now double check that. That would be 20A plus 16S is equal to, I think, 38. Is that correct, guys? Mm -hmm. And if I multiply by negative 5, I get negative 20A minus 25S is equal to negative, what is that? 51.5 is what I got. Do you agree with that or not? Now when you add them, we ended up with what? Negative 9S is equal to, is that right? Negative 13.5. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Find your mistakes. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Everybody happy? All right, here we go. Uh, somebody tell me about 28. This should have been kind of easy for you now. At this stage of the game, this should have been kind of easy. So somebody tell me about uh, what was the pen worth? Tell me. I got a dollar Oh, wait, no, I didn't. All I want to know is what's the cost I got, I got $1.75. for the pen? Is that right? So a dollar seventy-five for the pen. And then for the notebook, we got what? A dollar fifty. All right. So now we have to answer the question. Remember, that's the most important thing, guys. So how much would two pens and two notebooks cost? Did somebody else get six fifty? All right. I'm pretty happy with you on that. All right. Speak up if you're not sure now. Don't get what? I just, I've gotten everything. Oh. <laughs> no, like, that's not good. It's really crappy. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm saying. So look up here. What did you multiply yeah, no, by? What? No, I did what? the top by negative three and the bottom by three. Negative three and positive two. Yeah. That would work. All right. So that would be negative nine P minus six N is equal to negative 2475. Did you get that? I did. And then we get uh, 4p plus 6n equals 16. Negative 5p is equal to negative 8.75. Right? Uh, I got, I got ah, that's your mistake. That's all I care about. Come on, just mistakes. That's what I'm saying. Some of you guys got to double check your work. All right, most of the time it's just something careless. All right, most of the time it's something careless. All right, stocks. How much was invested in stocks, guys? 4,500. It's set up just like that. So, what would you multiply by, Harrison? Right. Come on, try it and see. Come on, come on, come oh, on. Oh, I see what try I did, bro. I must have a lot of my Yeah. And especially with the decimals. Hey, especially with the decimals. You just have to be careful. You're allowed to use a calculator. All right? Take your time. All right? I don't think it's necessary to use a calculator for all of them, but you can use a calculator. All right? Now number thirty. I don't think I let you. I don't think we even set that up. Correct? Yeah. Did anybody get this one? Oh. What did you get? I got the current is seven. The speed is seven. Seven. So seven meters per second. Yeah. And then the what? The boat is what did you get? One. One meter per second. Yeah, I got it the opposite. The boat yeah. is nine. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm totally fine with that. I got, uh, Go I ahead. Got the boat was seven meters per yeah. second, and yeah. the current was four. Is that anybody else? So these you're just saying might be switched. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got the boat being fourteen meters per second. Good. I got the current being eight meters per second. And eight meters per second. Okay, so let's see what we're doing here. All right, let's see how we're doing. All right, so it says, in a canoe race, a team paddles downstream 480 meters in 60 seconds. 
in 60 seconds. The same team makes the trip upstream in 80 seconds. Find the team's rate in still water and the rate of the current. So for this one right here, are you going with the current or against the current to start out? Yes. Right? Because it's taking you what? Less time, if you weren't sure. Right? So the boat plus the current, right? They did it in 60 seconds. We can travel what? 480 meters. And the other one would be what? The boat minus the current times 80 seconds is equal to what? 40. Some of you know I'm getting a little nervous about. All right. I, I think you should be able to set that one up. Right? Now, we can isolate by dividing by 60 and divide by 80. So the boat plus the current would have to be what? Eight. Eight. And the boat minus the current would have to be what? Six. So if I add them, 2B equals 14. So the boat is what? Let's Come on, guys. That's my bad friend. I, I got that. I, I got that. I I and and now, if the boat is 7, then the current is 1. And we're doing what? Meters per what? Second. Meters per second. All right? Again, just look and see. All right? Look and see. All right? Any questions? Yeah. Any questions? All right. Now, listen. Um, I don't know why, um, but I'm going to post the SAT questions. I thought I posted them. Will you double check? I thought I posted them. They're not on yet. No, 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 no. They're not on. There's a new SAT system that equation. All right. So here we go. Let me let me post those real quick.